guys here on Periscope. So thank you guys for watching. Hey everybody. Just getting situated here. Let's see. See myself on the Periscope is just delayed this morning. There's no good way around that. Seems like there might be some, I don't know, issues. Cancel. It's hard for me to see your comments if I can't watch the broadcast on the, oh, there I am, <laughs> on the iPad. Other, I mean, you know, I can only do so much. Let's see. Okay, there, there we go. Maybe. All right, so I'm going to set my timer. We have 10 minutes. After me, go to Shiles, 728. She's the last one. Good morning, everybody. You're sideways, but we don't have time for me to fix it. <laughs> I want to try to do a journals page spread in my Small Delusions journal. And I am, we don't really have time to draw, wait for things to dry. Good morning, everybody. So when you're doing a timed challenge like this, you need to... Um, just work with everything wet. <laughs> you don't have time for stuff to dry. Um, I'll probably do some pen work on here like later after the broadcast. I just have some scraps of tissue paper here on my desk. This is just some layers of um, wipe off paint. from other projects. I'm going to try to I'm going to try to keep up with comments while I'm doing this. No guarantees, you know. There we go. Um this is I am using um Liquitex matte medium. It's a fluid matte medium. And um I'm going to put some layers of uh, some few collage bits I have laying on my desk. Um on top of the wipe off paint that's on my page. If I wasn't doing a time challenge, um, I wouldn't necessarily do my layers in this way, but because I am. <laughs> Thank you so much. I never in a million years thought a few years ago I'd be Oh, yeah, doing art on the internet and teaching it never ever occurred to me <laughs> to be perfectly honest so I'm just using up my bits and pieces I have here I also have this quote I pulled out of uh, my word box last night it was right on top life is good like how much more perfect is that normally I would um, put this on last and I would do layers and paint first but because we are we're doing a time challenge we have only a few minutes left so I'm gonna actually put it on now uh, a lot of us use fluid matte medium because it's easier and it's very matte and it's not sticky um, but I have Mod Podge around and I have collage podge around and um, I like both of them so it just um, I use those more of a sealer so I'm going to put this on here and I'm going to take my, this is a frosting spreader from the dollar store. And I'm going to just make sure things are pushed down into the matte medium. I am going to take my dryer out. We're going to dry this a little bit. Yeah, when I'm, paint, when I'm painting, I just take the extra paint. And I always have this little journal next to my table and I just wipe off the paint or stencils in two pages on this journal. I have a few pages I've done. And this is a journal where we're experimenting with incorporating um, watercolor into our mixed media projects. Um, and I'm going to do that next. I just want to dry off the matte medium a little bit. Okay, so I have a couple of watercolor palettes here on my table that I use just for this. And these are ones that are inexpensive. Um, I don't care too much if they get contaminated by acrylic paint. They're not artist quality. Um, so I can use them with my mixed media and not be worried 
you know, that I'm going to ruin the paint palette by um, getting something in it. Yeah, the matte medium holds everything down. Sometimes if you have a really thick piece of paper, then you need to really use gel medium. Um, the heavy gel, I, I keep golden extra heavy gel around. Um, if you have a piece of paper that's really thick. This is a small, it is a small delusions journal. And now I'm putting watercolor on here. The watercolor is going to resist, be, res, um, I'm sorry, the paint and the matte medium are going to resist the watercolor. The acrylic paint more than the uh, matte medium. Um, the watercolor will absorb right into any place where there's raw paper. Five minutes. <laughs> we have five minutes. But I'm just putting a layer of watercolor into the background to color up anything that's still raw paper. Yeah, throw that away. Got a garbage can right next to me. See if I can uh, do some more drying. Okay, so now I'm going to just take my fingers and I have a few different colors of paint here. And uh, this is acrylic paint. These are Dina Wakeley paints. A paper towel. That was just a paper towel. Susan is up next. I'm sure she's going to have something fun and interesting for us all to watch. I'm just adding painty marks with my fingers. I picked colors that would coordinate with the quote, the color of the paper, the quote paper, and the colors that were already on here. And white is a good, um, I don't know if things get too if things get too muddy and too crazy. Add add some white in there. That's a good calming down color. But you see, you still see some of the layers and things showing through your paint, and um, it's really interesting. The more layers that you put, the better it is. Um, the Delusions Journal is by Ranger, and um, they make a, a few different ones now. This is the small one. This is a great journal for taking with you when you're traveling or if you're doing art sort of on the go. I have a few uh, tools here. This is a, like a vegetable brush. I just got the all black one recently. This is a, pl a pipe fitting from the hardware store. The paper is pretty good. It doesn't take lots of watercolor really well, but it's pretty good. I have a bunch of different things here and I'm just trying to figure out what I want to make marks with, but I need to hurry up because I only have two minutes. Um, I'm going to do the red. I'm going to just, you know, I'm always telling you guys to follow your instincts. So just use some found objects to make marks on your page. And keep going. And there's no reason why you have to do lots of complicated nonsense to create an interesting journal page. Empty ribbon spools are fabulous. Pipe fittings are fabulous. This little piece I use a lot. And this is, um from the paper roll from a store I used to work at we were changing the paper towel roll in the bath ladies bathroom and this was on the end of the roll and they were going to throw this away and I said uh can I have that 
<laughs> and it makes interesting marks. This is a square dice eraser. Again, interesting marks. This is a piece of a silicone hot pad. This is a vegetable brush. These are some of my favorite mark making tools. We have a minute left. If Susan's up and live, she should put up some emojis. If your paint is dry, you can come in with um, a paint pen to make some more marks. My paint is not dry, so I'm using a paintbrush. So there's Susan's emojis. And there's my 10 minutes. And the page is pretty done. I think I'm going to, you know, I'm going to leave it and um, let it dry a bit. And then I'll come in with some pens. The red, the spat, the stuff, the red kitchen supplies from Dollar Tree are fabulous. You guys are welcome. So here's just a quick way to do a journal page. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be complicated. Just have fun and enjoy your supplies. Hotel key cards are fabulous. You're welcome. My only problem is knowing when to stop. So you guys all go over and join Susan. Anybody who's still here. And I will see you all later.